Today, we are over on the latest DayZ map, Azalea, where we add another adventure to the DayZ exploration playlists. And as usual, we'll be hitting a live server where anything can happen at any time. Our character starts off on a discovery mission, but as we were about to find out, not only does this place hold various secrets, but it can be a deadly place too. The question is, can we survive this place? Can we unlock those secrets? And can we take control? Well, I guess we're about to find out. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps us out massively. Yo, so we've landed on the new Azalea map. And this place is so brand new that wherever we are is not marked with a name on the map. So, there's a load of new things we're going to take a look at here. The plan for today, we're going to explore this new map, take a look at all of the exciting new areas, new buildings. We basically want to see what's popping here. Now, we want to get kitted up. And there are a few players on the server right now. So I should imagine we're probably going to end up getting into some form of interaction along the way. So we're going to get straight into it and pick things up in this unmarked town where we start our journey. So some of these buildings have got really high steps on here. So you can't actually fully get in the doors. So there's still a bit of work to do. It's not in its finished state yet. But we are finding a load of food here. Which is nice. I'll keep this going for a bit. Alright, shotty. And a mosin. Town's layout, pretty spacious. I do like that. Let's go check out PD. The old pump action. But we're kind of semi-kitted right now. Wow, look at these views, man. Nice. This town actually looks really good. Not too crowded. Yeah, oh, I like this. I like this. Let's get rid of these freshy trousers. Come on now. The only thing I can't find here is a bloody well. Alright, but it does have a medical. Not that we need anything medical-wise at the moment. Alright, let's go and say hello to the uh, friendly indigenous. Sit down. Well, a few little clusters of Zeds. Not too many though, which is always nice to see. Did I just see a mountain backpack? I did. Happy days. That'll do. Actually carry some stuff now. Right, I can hear sheep. Damn. These sheep don't like going down. Alright, well you're going to feed me tonight, old son. Loads of meat. Top of the hill from this town, we've just come across this military. Again, it's not named. It's one of the only few that aren't named, so there's a heli crash over there. Or is that just put in for show? We'll have to have a look at that. Right. What have we got here then? So your basic tier 1 loot. SK. We'll take that. Not expecting to find anything great here. As we've only just landed. But. It'd be nice to get 76239. So at least we can shoot the SK. What have we got here? Gloves. Uh, bit of ammo. 45s. So slap the old head torch on so we can see a little bit better. There's a well. Excellent. Okay, cool. We found the well. So there is a well near the town. Just not in the town. That's an interesting concept. Normally they're always in the towns. Yo, platey, that do, that do. Okay, we're getting there. Got a bit of tuna. 
take the four five. Oh, lovely. Seven six two thirty nine. Let's fill this little beast up. Okay, we're good now. We're good. Bit of five five four. Alright, so uh, a little bit overgrown tent here. There's quite a bit of ammo about. Nah, I don't need none of that. Smoke? Nah. I think we'll be good in the dark for the time being. I want to go and check out this uh, heli site. Just to double check. It's not smoking, but just to double check if um, it's just literally put there or not. But uh, we'll see that in a minute. BDU pants? Nah. Keep jeans. Right, there's the heli. I'm going to guess... In fact, let's hit them sheds first. I'm going to guess that heli has got probably no loot attached to it. I reckon they'll put it there just to make it look good. Empty. What we got here? Nothing. Alright. A little bit spawning under, half under the ground, but that's easily sorted out. Yeah, look, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Alright, so we've hit everything bar these medical tents. So let's have a little look, see if we can pick something up here. Maybe a morphine or blood collection kit, possibly. Sailing bag. That'll do, IV. Let's quickly sort that out, just in case. Right, that can go there. What's that, a thermometer? Another IV, I suppose we can use that. If we can find the blood collection kit. No, no battery in there. Some 12 gauge. Another slug. I think we're just about done here, to be fair. Right. Time to bounce. Let's get out of here. Bright and early the next morning, we come across a place called Caldera Research. And this place is pretty cool. But first, we need to make sure we're not going to get shot here. Well, this looks all pretty clear at the moment. Now, we did hear a few shots on the way here. I'm pretty certain it came from inside here. It looks like they've gone, so... So what we got here then? We've got the old Green Mountain Tower. A few more medicals. Is that the morphine? Might as well check our blood type. I'm not really too fussed about the medical stuff right now. Let's just see if there's anything here though. We really need, oh, there you go. Cool. I was going to say, we really need a blood collection kit. So we've got that. We don't really need anything else now. We've just given ourselves a bit of blood. So that will come back up shortly. So there's quite a lot of tents here. But no real military gear so far. I bet this is going to spawn something like the M16 somewhere. Filling up our pistol mag. Oh, there we go. We'll take a rangefinder over binos any day. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. You've got two. An M16 and a KAS. We don't really need any of them right now. That was a new building. Okay. I'm guessing loot will drop in there at some point. Alright, so we're picking up pretty much what I expected to. We're not that far into the map and I don't think this is... This is probably tier 2 territory. Couple of Class C mags. Another SK, we've already got one of those. Alright, we've got some pouches now. So what we've got in here then? It looks like this place has already been hit. I think the shots were 
whoever was here has already probably looted all of this. Taken anything decent. Haven't found any dead Zed yet. Or maybe they may be camping. The top of the stairs up here. That's quite open down there. Easy snipe spots. Love that. Alright, no one's camping the stairs then. What we got? Another cars, another... Do you know what? Let's take the 16. That's in better condition anyway. Take the 16, just in case. So we've got three weapons now. And we've got loads of ammo, so we're good. Been a little bit more cautious, because it's a little bit too quiet here for my liking. You can't help the feeling, because we're in a, a valley down here, that someone may well, or very easily be, sat at the top in the tree somewhere. Waiting to take us out. Oh, we've got suppressor that dude. Yeah, let's change the shirt over. Have a little bit more camo. Oh, look at that. Love the colours on that. Got these new red flowers as well. Okay. Nice. Red bushes. Oh, I think we're done here. Definitely time to move on. Next up, we come across this little beauty. Named Lagoon Camp. Right, now this is a little bit dodgy, man. We've heard loads of gunfire now. Um, I can't place it exactly where it is. I think it's from the main city. Over to our right. But we come across this place. It sounds pretty cool. wonder what's in here. Obviously, the name suggests it's definitely a little camp of some description. And it's on the lagoon, so obviously, lagoon camp. There you go. Are we going to run into anyone here, though? That's a bit of a swim, by the way. You can cross it. There's a bridge behind us you can cross. Okay, so we've got a couple of hunter's huts. Got a pub over there as well. What have we got in here, then? Don't really need any of that. I've not found any real sniper rifles, such as the uh, Blaze, Tundra, Savannah. I haven't found any of that yet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that a mushroom? Oh my god. Alright, so we've got giant mushrooms on here. Now that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Full of gear. Not. Uh, what else have we got here? Alright, so this looks like a bit of a... A bit of a kind of building type camp. Probably tier 1 military loot if you're lucky. There's a bit of chocolate though. We'll take that. That'll do. There's just beautiful scenery everywhere around. This map has got to be one of the most beautifulest maps I've played. In terms of scenery. I've obviously still work to do on it, but... It is looking good so far. Yeah, there's not a lot here at all in terms of loot. So, probably may want to rework the loot spawns around this area. Is that... A, that's a PD bike. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, that would be pretty good if you could actually use it, if you could get on it. So, they've got a well here. I'd expect a well here, to be fair. So, that's fair enough. No smoke coming from up here. We're just double checking, being a bit cautious. You know what it's like. We can actually cook up our meat now, as we've got quite a bit of it from that sheep a little while ago. So we're just sorting out our infantry. Food's all done. And we're going to make a little run for it. See what's next. I reckon we're going to get shot at in a minute at some point. So the shots I was um, hearing... Oh, hold on. What have they done here? They've got like a little base building. Um, like vanilla base building wall here. Half wall outside. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, look at that. Alright. Interesting. Let's go over to that big rock. Oh, hold on, what's that? A little bonfire medical bed. Just looks cool, doesn't it? You can't do anything with it, but it looks alright. Let's go on top of these rocks and have a little look over the town. So there's the main town of Azelia. We're going to check that at some point. It's quite big. I was about to go and check out the main city when I heard some shots coming from the west. So we took a little look and we found this place called Deep Tide's Quarry. Now this place is cool. Right, so what is this then? We just looked from the mountain and there's like a little bridgeway over to a little island here. There's loads of new buildings here, so let's... I think they're probably not going to spawn any loot in these. Because they look brand, brand new. Or old assets that just not been used in the game. So there's the old concrete bridge that we were going to go across. That leads straight to the main city, but look at this. Oh, I love this. This looks so good, man. Imagine base building around here. And look at the hills. Sniper spots. Brilliant. Oh, we've run out of bridge. Okay, so you're going to have to swim this bit then. The usual dark, murky, daisy water. Alright, come on, get up. I mean, you're going to get shot running across here, without a doubt. But I've got massive reeds there. Perfect for hiding crates and stuff. Alright, so let's check this out then. So there's big, big mountain hilltops surrounding this big old quarry. So there's the new type of fireplace that you can't use. More red bushes. I do like the red bushes. They look pretty good. A little bit of extra colour to the game. Love that. Some more building gear. That's the first box of nails we've found so far. So we've got a green moustache here. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So what's that? Is that, a, that might be a cave, you know. That could be a cave over there. I mean, that looks so good. All right, let's move on. What are we going to find in here then? Probably some dude upstairs waiting for us. That's it. Ah, don't need any of that rubbish, rubbish. Yeah, all right. So there's another little decking over here. There's a boat at the end of it. Yeah, you could definitely hide stuff all the way around here. So they've got... I've not seen these boats before either. So they've added these in. Little trawl of fish. Oh, cool. Look, you got fish. you got fish down there. <laughs> nice, nice. The old boathouse... I am surprised we've not been shot at, at all, so far. In fact, I've not actually seen anyone yet. We have heard a load of gunfire, but I've not seen anyone yet. Okay, time to move on. Now, it was inevitable we were going to get into it at some point, and this is where it happened. Check out Breezy Ridge Military, one of the smallest on the map. Okay, we've just heard wolves. They're coming from behind us. There we go. They're a bit of a distance, but... They're definitely coming to bite us on the arse, clearly. So we can get a little bit of uh, looting done before they actually get here. Not a lot down there. USG. No, thank you. We'll take the ammo. A bit more ammo. Right. Hopefully we've got enough time to get in here.
This is a really nice little backdrop here. So this military is literally in the middle of nowhere. In another little type valley type thing. Well, this looks like it's all been looted. Everything's open. I'm guessing we probably need to be a little bit on guard. There's nothing on there. We've got here. Yeah. Barrack of sites don't need those. There's absolutely nothing here. This has been here. There's an SK on the floor. So walls incoming. It's not looking promising. I think we sweep it. Oh, hold on, there's one door shut. Everything else is open. Let's just check this out. Oh, player! God damn it. I knew it. I knew it. Someone had set that right up. Right, we're back. Freshied up. We've got loads of food and water on a couple of uh, towns on the way in. We're going to try and run straight back to our body. I'm not sure if this dude will even still be here, but I'm hoping. Oh, he's killed loads of wolves. Look, there's loads of wolves down here. Oh. Has he left our platey? He's left our platey. He's taken our guns, but he's left our platey. Oh, we've still got our pistol. That'll do. Well, we've got something. We're going to have to take this SK. Uh, I bet he's gone. I bet he's gone. Oh, we've been looting up for ages. Oh, mind you, there's mushrooms everywhere, but maybe he hasn't gone. He may still be here. Alright, let's just clear this whole place. I reckon he's probably gone. He's taking care of all the wolves. He hasn't cut any of them up, so... He's probably taken all our food, so he doesn't need to cut them. Bearing in mind, we've cooked all our food up, so... He's not going to need... Any of that really. We'll take a smoke. Just in case we're going to need it. Cause a bit of a diversion. Yeah. I can't see this dude. We've not even been shot at so. Uh... Oh hold on. Hold on. Is that him? That's him. Well it's someone. Dude's hit us again. Come on, come round that corner. He hasn't. Where is he then? I reckon he's gone round to the right. I've lost sight of this dude. We're going to try and get up here without him seeing us. So we've got a bit of elevation now. I think he's shot us and he's gone back and gone round to try and loot. Get us at the back end. We might as well go loud. Let's take a suppressor off. Well, where are you? Where are you? Is he hiding? Oh, come on, you've shot us once. You shouldn't be hiding, old son. Right, come on. Is he around here again, near our body? Hmm, let's double check. He may be... There he is, there he is! I thought he'd be camping this. He was around this area earlier when he originally shot us. So there's a couple of hits on him. And uh, he shot us again a minute ago from the same kind of area. So he's clearly just waiting over there by the bloody wall for anyone to come in. Where is he? I knew that. Yeah, I thought I saw him then as well. Right, let's move. He knows where we are. Got far superior uh, weapons than we have right now. We've got seven bullets left in that gun. The good news is we've got spare ammo. See if we can do something with this. He's there, he's behind us. God damn, he's put us down. We're not dead though. He ain't over yet. He's probably run over. He hasn't he hasn't finished us. We're in bad shape here. Oh, I can hear Zeds. The Zeds have got him. Ah, oh, those Zeds have saved us. Right, morphine. Gun in hand. Let's go. Yo, so he shot us. Zeds have jumped onto him. 
And he's gone round here. I think he thinks we're dead. Oh, yeah, he's surrounded by Zeds. Right, can we get a shot? I think he's somewhere behind... He sounded like right in the middle here. There he is. There. Oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! Bang! Nice, nice! <laughs> Headshot, my friend! Let's go! And that's what happens when you don't finish us. Mind you saying that. I think this is the same guy. If it is, he's killed us already once, so... Uh... We're having a little bit... Oh, look, there's all our gear. The dude was... He didn't really have a lot on him, originally, clearly. He's just filled up his backpack with our gear. God damn, that's what you get, mate. Sitting there camping his militaries. Man, we're in bad shape, though. Right, let's get out of here before he comes back. Haha, <laughs> you got to love a headshot. you got to love a headshot. I bet he didn't even see us run. He thought we were dead. <laughs> That's what you get me, old son. He's going to be pissed. So having managed to stumble our way out of that last military area, we made our way to a nearby place called Echo Fort. Now, we're not in great shape right now. One more hit, and it could be over for us. Right, I think there's a military behind here. And we can't take any more hits. But saying that most of this looks open already. Right, there's an ATOG there. We'll take the knife. But we've got nothing to slap it on, so we're going to leave it. We've actually got basically all the gear we lost back. And a little bit more. Hello, I like these trucks. I like that, that's pretty cool. Shipping container on top of a military truck, love it. So we're going to play this a little cautious here, because the last thing we want right now is to step into one of these and be blown up by some kind of uh, barbed wire grenade combo or some crazy stuff. So, uh, right, the last one of these has got a door shut. Can't hear anything. We really should have our gun out here, shouldn't we? Going straight for a military. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that if anyone spots us from a distance, that we're not shot immediately. So <laughs> we're going to try this tactic. This could backfire big time, but we can always whip out the big boy in a minute. So far, so good. No shots. I haven't seen anyone around this area yet. But that could always change. I think we're about to hit white health, so... We are now going to play a little bit. Guns out. Ready to go. And it's getting dark. Now, so far, I've not found any night vision at all. But, granted, we haven't hit any heli sights. Alright. Not here. Not today. Good. So, we're kind of missing a top grade gun. Uh, a foul LAR, SVD, or even an M4. I've not found any of those type of weapons, but like we say, we haven't really hit uh, any of the high tier locations right now. And we've not seen a heli site. Now, there is a bunker on this server somewhere that we're going to try and find. And apparently, it's uh, very different from the normal bunkers that we we used to. So this will be interesting. Right, we just popped another morphine and we're looking better. And then we found it. The most stunning location on this entire map. The backside of the lagoon. Check this out. But we've just stumbled on this rock formation. And it's by Deep Tide's Quarry. Is that a tunnel? That's a tunnel. Oh, you can get right the way through it, I think. 
Oh, this looks cool. Look at the colour of the water as well. Let's go check this out. Alright, so you've got an industrial building. You've got a military building. Don't think we need any pants. We're good with the hunters. Even though they are wet. Looks like they're going to get wet again. Oh, someone's been here. Multiple bits of loot dumped there. Yeah, look, you can get right the way through that. I wonder if that's a tunnel system in there. Oh, hold on, what's that? There's a gap. Oh, hold on, there's a gap under the rocks over here as well. I wonder if that leads all the way through. Maybe we can get through that gap and without swimming into it, you can actually go through the rock here. Let's go and check this out. And if not, we'd make the swim anyway and just uh, see what's going on there. Alright, so there's a little gap. Alright, it doesn't look like you can actually go anywhere from here. There's another suppressor though. Take that. Alright, so I'm guessing it's back out the way we came. Finally changed our gloves over to a bit of leather. Alright, so there's a hidden little military place there. Not brilliant loot, but um, I'm sure that can change it up from time to time. Some big old diggers. Quarry machinery. What the hell that's doing? I don't know. Trying to dig up some, I don't know, whatever. I thought they were little uh, holes in the rock, little caves in the rock, but they're not. Man, this looks cool, doesn't it? This looks good. Right, the question is, is there tunnels here? Look at the colour of the water. Oh, I love that. Now, as you can see, our health is still recovering from that gunfight we had a little while ago. So the snipe position's above it. There's a little... Uh, can you get up there? You can't get up there, but there is a little hole there. What a little snipe spot that is. Alright. So what's over here? Is there another tunnel? Oh, that is just beautiful. That is over there. I think there's a tunnel here. There is a tunnel. There's an opening. There's trees inside as well. So you can shoot from above the rocks. Oh, how good would this be for a base? You'd need base building plus, or a base building mod here, to stack fences, but how good would that be? Oh man, I'm going to have to try that out. Wow. What an area that is. So we finally found the bunker, but there isn't any key cards, and this is not quite finished. However, I found another way in. Okay, okay, so I've just spent 25 minutes running across bloody rocks and everything else. Now, the bunker entry is the complete other side of this. And this is some kind of, like, submarine entrance or something. And we've just found an open door. Now, I don't know whether that's supposed to be locked door there, another bunker entrance, but maybe this is the back door to the actual bunker. I'm not sure. I think it is. Geographically, it's right. So let's check this out. Alright, so you've got some army quarters here, some barracks. This looks like this could end up being a bit of a bloody maze or something. There's not a lot of loot so far, but there are loads of these oval barracks. Oh, okay, okay, so this must be the bunker. You've got the Livonia rooms, bunker rooms here. Well, one so far. I reckon what they've done is they've separated up what the bunker normally looks like. Yeah, look, here you go. There's the little torture cages. 
Yeah, it looks like they've chopped up the actual bunker itself and made something completely different. Oh, the loot is getting better as we go through this area. Yeah, there you go. There's the old chem centre. Okay. Well, there's loads of these barracks about. Pretty much every turn you've got one of these barracks. Now, after what seemed like a bit of an eternity here, we finally come into a bunker that we would all recognise. But there's a slight hitch here. Again, I said before, it's not finished. There's no opening system on the wall. There's a telephone box. But there's no way to get out. So, we're going to have to go all the way back through there to get out of here. <laughs> and that brings our adventure on the new Azelia map to a close. Let us know what your thoughts are on this map. I've enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe.